And let's have a look here at the new Carrera 8.5 Pro. Pretty sweet, uh, looks just like Carrara. Um, I notice immediately that um, it feels nicer working in 8.5 Pro. Um, but there again, I use it all the time, so I should know. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's take a quick little look. We've got um, the file menu, and I'm going to go ahead and start a new medium scene as I babble on here. It'll just be an empty scene. But um, uh, before I go any further, let's point out that you can use uh, this new, dia new document dialog to launch the landscape wizard which uh, is really cool. It'll give you um, a complete scene with environment, uh, landscape, uh, cameras, everything that you need and you set it up along the way. And then here are some presets that we also have down here in the browser. But we're just going to launch an empty scene and I've uh, customized my set up to actually just display black. I believe it starts off in one of these shades of blue. But um, I'm in camera one. I'm going to get out of that and go into director's camera. And I want to look at that camera. Um, because just so that um, as we go through this, I'd kind of like to um, get us all on this, the same page. So I'm just going to grab this light and get rid of it and delete the light. And we're going to go to the browser under scenes, uh, lighting scene. And we're going to drag in this three-point lighting. And see, here's their camera one, right there. And normally, I make my camera invisible by um, de-checking this show object in 3D view. But for right now, I want to keep that visible because what I want to do is I want to take this lighting I don't really care about anything else. I just, I'm just worried about the lights themselves. And I'm going to um, rotate everything, uh, lights and all, to somewhat match the position of my camera. And my camera isn't zoomed in yet. So uh, it's just it's anywhere in there. And then we can just do simple rotations from there. But uh, that at least gets us in the ballpark. And you're probably wondering, what is this insane man talking about here? But we're just going to take it and, and delete everything else in that scene so that I can go in and, and, and hide my camera. So that uh, basically what I like to do is I like to set my position to that camera and then back out sometimes and I don't want that camera being in my way okay so anyway let's get back on with showing off this this you can do in any version of Carrara um, but now we've got a, a three-point lighting rig set up in there that comes with Carrara and you'll see it, it makes a really nice little um, render and we just take a look here okay we're we're, we've got a pretty nice default little setup going on. So let's load in some Genesis and have a look at it. Um, here, whether you add it or not, um, you don't have to add it. Carrera will notice it right off the bat. The library in which um, you have installed Genesis to. Okay, uh, if all is done correctly, it'll just show up automatically. You don't have to actually add anything. And under People Genesis, just clicking on Genesis, you will get the, the default Genesis. And Genesis is just, it looks like a girl here, but um, it's just a little guy. He's a gray, uh, featureless, textureless guy. Um, quite an amazing fellow though he can become her or he can become anyone else but um, basically just babbling until he gets loaded in and I want to do this so that I can set up my camera um, to look at him okay and uh, so this is this is what 8.5 was all about is getting Genesis and turning Genesis into actually turning 
changing Carrera enough so that Genesis is actual native content to Carrera, which took a lot of work, but the, the end result is amazing because when you actually look at the rig, it looks like a Carrera rig. I mean, it is very much Carrera-esque, let's just let's say. Okay, so I've, I've selected Actor here, and now we've got this new Parameters tab here. And in the Parameters tab is where you have all of your shaping morphs. Um, look, I could turn it into an Undead Fiend, just like that. Bam! And you can animate that going from, you know, any one character um, to any other character. And, um, put that along your timeline and in perhaps another uh, tutorial I could even show you how to animate the texture change. The actor tab is where you uh, access all of the shapes and Genesis tab is where you get the um, more, there's more shaping in there um, but then there's also, undo that, um, that's where you get all of your, your bends and your JCMs and um, this is actually, um, Genesis 2 actually um, improves upon this big time. But uh, in there again, I haven't updated this particular, my Genesis in a long time. This, this may, may not look like this in your version. But um, so that's Genesis. Genesis is great and you can become anything and I believe uh, I'm not exactly sure what uh, UV mapping plain Genesis comes with but if you load in basic female um, that one has the uh, UV mapping for Victoria 4 basic male Vic, um, Michael 4 and then uh, the other ones go by their names. Uh, basic child, I think, would be uh, kids for, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, went ahead and got the pro version, which I need. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, show off some of the goodies that came with that. I'm going to load in the Michael 5 here. And you see, once you've loaded in a Genesis, it, you know, it takes a little while for that first Genesis to load in. After that, your second Genesis figures and every um, Genesis figure thereafter loads in much faster. Did you see that? Um, it didn't take nearly as much time. And then I was, we'll go ahead and delete that one and then I'm just going to uh, remove unused objects and remove unused shaders and here we have Michael 5 and now before I actually make him look real um, and, and I, he probably does already um, I'm, I'm on Gerard, but um, let's go ahead and, and take a look at some of the clothing here. And uh, since he is a, a rather beefy fellow, why don't we go ahead and um, go to Humble Fugly, Humble Fugly, and we're going to turn this guy into a dragon lord. Um, let's uh, start with some pants. Okay, now see, all you have to do is um, now select Genesis here, and I'm going to bring it down like that. And um, when you load just Genesis, then you have Genesis listed here. But this is, this is what lists the character. This is the, uh, the animation group. This is the rigging group. And, uh, and that's the shaping group as actors. So now let's... Uh, Select Genesis and let's double click on some pants. Get that loaded in there. And it's doing its thing, projecting its morphs. Um, if I wasn't playing around there, that would still be selected. So let's go ahead and give him a sash.
let's just let's just uh, give them some bracers and call it a day. That way we can just keep adding stuff. But uh, uh, you get the picture. Uh, really easy to do, and it looks very much like uh, the way we always have had it uh, with the poser. But it's actually a, a little bit easier to deal with. Um, and uh, yeah, the, th the thing that we have to keep in mind is that Genesis is one amazing piece of figure and uh, it, there are a lot of things that you can do with it so um, we do have to be somewhat understanding when some things meet, meet, might need a little bit of tweaking just because of um, crazy manipulations or whatever. But um, see, here we have materials, and now um, the developers at Daz made all this stuff work. Um, but um, you know, just to just to show you, you go to go with pants, and um, with my with my tiny little screen here, I'm having a, a bit of a time seeing what's going on. Everything's shrunk, so. Um, uh, kind of guessing here. Um, just give some things a, a bit of a look. The harness. Which one is the harness? This one? Yes. And I think I can guess the bracers on, the bracers on my own here. We went with the Overlord, um, just for sake of simplicity here, because what I really wanted to show you uh, is not all of that, but it's that's good stuff to know too. Um, now, to work with the appearance of Genesis, you click on Actor, and then you click on this um, paintbrush here, and what that does is it launches us into the shader room. It's actually called the texture room. But um, since the appropriate term is shader, um, and that's what Carrara uses, um, that's what we come to know this as. Now, these are your shading domains. These are called shading domains. And um, a lot of them share the exact same shaders uh, for most people's uses. Some people will actually individualize some of them to change them. Um, subtly from one effect to the other. But what, what's nice about getting um, Carrera 8.5 here is we actually get shaders that come with the software. We have under skin, um, Michael 4 and Victoria 4 came with uh, eight, uh, Carrera 8 if you bought that. But uh, 8.5 comes with um, uh, James and Philip from Michael 5 and uh, Benjamin comes with the Pro Edition and Victoria 5 uh, comes with two of them and then the, th the, the third one is a Pro version. So anyway, let's go with uh, Benjamin and I'd have to, I have to read the README to find out which of these files does what. Um, I have a feeling that NB means no bump, but uh, let's see, BTL Benjamin M5, this is high, let's, let's try that high one here, I think the H stands for high, could be wrong, hair, <laughs> um, there again, the readme will explain all of that, but so that's how you deal with multi shaders. Um, when you have a collection of shaders that you've purchased and it only has like one file like that instead of having all of the different domains uh, separated, then that's what you do is you drag the, the, the one file over this multicolored uh, ball. If you do that with another one, it's going to overwrite everything, okay? But now you'll notice that we have shader ending with one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. You'll see how they, they numerically change like this. Um, these are all separate shaders. 
and we don't need that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to come back to this room and we're going to go edit, remove unused masters, consolidate duplicate shaders. And what that's going to do is reduce this list. Um, well, the list that we were just looking at, it'll, it'll combine them all um, so that the shaders that share are just using the one shader. Uh, helps free up the memory. So let's go ahead and remove unused shaders at the same time now. So now we have Michael 5 with Carrera optimized shaders. And um, these new these new Genesis sets do a pretty decent job with um, with having materials that work nicely in Carrara uh, as a default setting. You can you can further tweak them, of course, because uh, Carrara's texture room is an entire subject matter to its own. It's it's quite huge. But let's let's go ahead and select uh, Genesis here and come down. There's hip bend, so arms have to be pretty close here. Let's just go to arms up and down and bring his arms down. Make him look a little bit more natural. There we go. And maybe, you know, he's a bad guy. He's a big toughie. Let's bring his arms back a little bit. Maybe shrug his shoulders up a little. Nah, that's... Don't want to make him look too much like he's pretending to be tough. He doesn't have to do that because he's he is tough. Alright. So now let's go into our camera one and turn on the production frame. And since Genesis is selected, I'm gonna type zero. Just zoom in on him a little bit, zoom in a little bit more. Get a kind of a dramatic look at him. And now let's uh Control R on him and, and see what he looks like. Uh, and this is just a basic three-point lighting that, that comes with Carrara. And uh, not bad for something that we just drag, dragged in. You know, so far we didn't do any custom tweaking on this guy at all, except for we, we posed his arms just now. That's, that's the only thing custom that we did. Um, and so we can we can go a little bit further. We can uh, well actually instead of just using those dials, I'm going to show you how it's really nice to just be able to select his neck. And some people and and even to me th um, having this skeleton glow like that um, is a little it takes a little getting used to. And to me, it it doesn't bother me at all anymore. And uh, I, I always like to work in the director's camera. Okay, now I'm going to grab his head and see, just kind of, he, he really, really uh, poses pretty easily. Um, now that we have the head selected, we can come in here and select this root. And notice that they even put a, a search filter on here. That's really, really cool. I mean, these guys really did a nice job. But we want to look at expressions. Let's make them look a little angry, maybe a little disgusted. Uh, zoom in a little bit, see what's going on with this, with this expression here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, he's looking disgusted and, and angry. And uh, maybe a little bit of pain to get his teeth showing. Oh, his teeth are showing, okay. So now let's go back to camera one and get a little bit closer so we can really get a look at him. Okay. But now this time, let's uh, go back here, director's camera, set position to camera one and then zoom out until we can see the lights. Okay, now we come over here and look at our render and okay, this right here is the edge. Is that what they call it? It's the key light. Okay, let's uh, take that and bring that on to him a little bit more. Where's that?
that backlight though. Backlight. That's actually pretty good. Just lift it up a little bit. There we go. And the fill light. Keep him kind of out of the main of it. Uh, maybe a little bit in there like that. Now, one thing about these, this uh, light rig that I just showed you, um, all of the lights are set up to use um, the shadow buffer. Um, so what I've been doing lately just for fun and for doing these fast renders like this is I've been coming in with the key light and setting that one up to be ray traced, enable soft shadows, and you know, five feet um, to get a little more uh, detail on those shadows. Um, and now let's let's take this backlight and crank it up. Get some really intense highlighting going on there. And then make it so it's just kind of glancing him. Alright. Now let's hit the control R. See what we've got. And you see now we've got our key lighting doing a little bit softer shadows going on there. And you can see by cranking up that, that backlight that it just adds that little blue sheen back there. And his coloration here, um, you'll notice that in the, in the, um, the lights, look at the colors. There's the fill light there. Oh, they're all very colorful lights. I usually don't do that. And so part of what I'm doing right now by, by using this is just trying some different techniques that I don't normally use. And um, let's look, look at that again. And uh, you know, maybe we want to uh, get more of an effect with this key light, um, more like what the what the backlight is doing. We'll come in like this. And so maybe I just rotated the whole thing a little bit too much at, in, this, in the start. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that something like that. See, this this is where the the light is falling off. The inside, this is where all the intense light is. And by the time you get out here, is the edge of this angle, this half angle right here. And then your fall off adjusts how big this circle is in here, or how little it is. Okay, so I'm basically making this light less effective the, the, the more I drag him towards the out, the, uh, drag it so that it, the outer circle touches him. Because um, you don't always want everything direct right on your guy. And as a matter of fact, why don't we go down with it? There we go. Let's uh, do another render here. Now, he's not getting any reflection from anything. And um, we can change that if we wanted to. We could, uh, uh, and why don't we? When we come in here, select the scene and just give the, um, oh, why don't we go ahead and give it a realistic sky? Why not? Uh, uh, leave the ground on. Nah, let's not use the ground. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll edit this. Let's get the sky, the sun, so it's going to kind of behave somewhat like our fill light is. Okay, and what do we have for clouds? Let's give it one more. Let's, let's make these serious and we'll give it another layer of uh, serious, serious stratus. And where are the altitudes? This one's 75. This one down more. Okay, and uh, we better bring in some fog. And there we go. Just just a quick setup here. Uh, 
uh, now without even adding a sunlight. I guess we need to add a sunlight, don't we? So we'll go insert sunlight. Done. Uh, that's another neat thing is look at the, the new icons here. For the, um, let me just zoom in on that. See there's the new sunlight. Doesn't that look cool? Um, so let's, uh, let's see what that does. And that, and that shows us which, uh, which direction the... Uh, oh, another thing I didn't do here is we... we let's try um, Phil Wilkes thing here. We probably have too much light for this, but let, not really. Let's try it. We'll go with the Gamma 2.2. And we'll go with uh, Skylight and Indirect. He doesn't always ask for the Skylight, um, just the Indirect. But let's, uh, let's see what that does. I, I'm finding that I really like it sometimes, and, and sometimes um, I don't. I think that some artists actually um, optimize for the fact that this is normally not in effect. And so they um, correct gamma already in what they give you. So uh, they have to take it for what it's worth for um, the individual thing. And there we go. There's a nice, uh, a really nice, uh, right here. we've got the, the sky reflecting here on his musculature and he's got a an attitude. He's got some nice garb going on that, that we could always, we could certainly tweak in the texture room, but uh, uh, that was pretty fast and easy. And this is this is Genesis, the first generation of Genesis with um, Michael Five, Benjamin on there, and I didn't even crank on, uh, uh, what I should really do is crank on Benjamin's look make him look like Benjamin, um, which is where we come to, oh, where do we have it, oh, it's down here, um, That's neat. Uh, it's really nice to have. You, you, you get used to. Um, there's Ben's head, uh, which probably looks um, a little different uh, because I think he already has um, some Michael Four, Michael Five um, stuff going on. Let's uh, change that camera position just a hair. Let's give it a little bit of... Okay, let's take a look. See what Ben looks like now. I was going to do it in a new window so I didn't have to wreck this one. That's alright, it's not that precious or special or whatever. Um, see the... The global illumination really doesn't take that long to calculate in simple scenes like this. There are certainly scenes where it's um, uh, a lot more time consuming. Um, but as fast as it is like this, if my scene was this simple, I, I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't bother me using this uh, um, setting right here for running animations and I'd even improve upon this right here. But um, So there we go. I'll, I'll, uh, Post this guy up on the forum and we'll come back and look at some more 8.5 a little later. Thanks.